Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Brian Dwayne Hobbs missing since August 29th, 1994 from Stone Mountain, Georgia. He was born March 7th, 1975, 19 years old only at the time he went missing. Six foot three, 165 pounds, green Toyota Tercel accounted for. Her. Black hair, brown eyes, has tattoos on both his arms and his chest. His left ear is pierced. He may have a mustache. Last seen in his hometown of Stone Mountain, Georgia, August 29th, 1994. They found his vehicle abandoned on Gresham Road in DeKalb County, Georgia, August 31st, two days after he was last seen. There was no sign of him near his vehicle. He's never been heard from again. And it doesn't say whether he had a dead battery, whether it was out of gas, or whether it was just parked there. Okay, so... And here's him on NamUs. So six foot three to six foot four. He's pretty tall. All right. So then you know you go and you look uh, for unidentified persons that might might fit his description. The only person I found I found an unidentified male, Stone Mountain, Georgia, found June twenty fifth, nineteen ninety five. I don't know if that reconstruction looks anything like him as far as the facial shape and everything. And then it doesn't give you an estimated age. It doesn't give you an estimated year of death. There's no estimated PMI. And it says estimated to be 5 foot 9 to 5 foot 10, whereas he's supposed to be about Six foot two, six foot three, six foot three, six foot four. But it was the only person. It, but this is what a year later they were found. Less than a year later, he went missing in August. You've got the winter, and then summer comes, and then they found uh, the body of someone. Remains were found on a cluster of rocks about three hundred to four hundred feet south through the wooded incline near the base of Stone Mountain. And I don't know if that's anywhere near where his vehicle was found. Black hair. So, then if I start with this unidentified person trying to find if anybody could fit his description, the only person I could find was him, which doesn't mean it was him. I mean, it could be very well somebody else just happened to be they just happened to find somebody else's remains in that same area of where he went missing it could be completely unrelated so I also have another John Doe this John Doe was found in Atlanta Georgia and he's six foot two 235 pounds and when I tried to look for someone that fit this John Doe's description, he came up. But he's in DeKalb County. So, 1996 is the year that they found him. So, I don't think this could be him, even though he's 6'2", and he is 18 to 25 pounds. Estimated PMI is just minutes. But, and then you think, well, what if something happened? What if something happened with him and somebody else? And this man, what if he had something to do with this unidentified person and he went to Atlanta? Then maybe it could be him. But that's very, that's way out there speculating, isn't it? We no, was noted to be on fire in a vacant lot, was taken to the hospital and died about 24 hours later. On fire? Who set him on fire? Black hair, brown eyes, two holes in the left ear. You know, Atlanta's a pretty dangerous city, or it was, or I thought it was back in the day. Maybe it's not. But as far as in my mind back in the day, I always thought it was kind of a dangerous area. So, you know, this person could be anybody. It could be somebody that wasn't even reported missing. So I don't know if he is... Or could be this unidentified person. I don't know if this unidentified person has anything to do with the fact that he was missing. 
And then we have this other John Doe. But this, these are people that, you know, these are somebody's son, somebody's, could be somebody's brother, uncle. These are somebody's loved ones. So if you have any information about um, what happened to him or who this John Doe could be or who this other John Doe could be, please contact authorities and let them know. Even if somebody's been drinking and talking over the years, you're not sure if it's important, you're not sure if it's relevant, let the investigators know. If it's hearsay, it's not like you're going to testify in court. You're just giving them information that you have um, and letting them decide what's important, letting them decide what's relevant, letting them decide what might help their case. And don't forget to pray for their families and their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.